NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission has some new updates. As you know, the sample was delivered to Earth in 2023, and since then, scientists have been eagerly studying it to uncover its secrets. And now what they have found so far is nothing short of amazing. The sample suggests that the asteroid Bennu may have originated from an ancient ocean world that was once habitable. That's right, a world that could have had water, organic molecules, and maybe even life. How is that possible? And what does that mean for our understanding of the origins of life and the solar system? In this video, we will explore these questions and more as we dive into the latest discovery from the asteroid Bennu sample. We will look at how the scientists are analyzing the sample, what they have found so far, what implications this has for the origins of life and the solar system, and what future prospects and plans are for the sample and the mission. This is a rare and exciting opportunity to learn more about our cosmic history and our place in the universe. So stay tuned and get ready to be amazed by the mystery of Bennu. The first thing we need to know is how the scientists are studying the sample from the asteroid Bennu. The sample itself is very small and complex, so it requires a lot of care and precision to analyze it. It consists of over 1,000 particles, weighing about 200 milligrams, which is roughly the weight of a paperclip. Some of the particles are as large as stones, while others are as fine as dust. It is being analyzed by a team of scientists at the University of Arizona, where the OSIRIS-REx mission is based, and by other labs around the world. The scientists are using various instruments and techniques to examine the sample, such as microscopes, spectrometers, mass spectrometers, and X-ray diffraction. These allow the scientists to measure the size, shape, color, texture, composition, and structure of the sample, and to identify the minerals, elements, and molecules that it contains. The main discovery from the first look at the sample is that it suggests that the asteroid Bennu may have originated from an ancient ocean world that was once habitable. This is because the sample contains evidence of high carbon content and water, which could indicate the presence of organic molecules and the building blocks of life. For example, the sample contains nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, clays, and carbonates, which are all associated with biological processes and water-rock interactions. It also contains water-rich minerals, such as serpentine and magnetite, which are formed by the alteration of rocks by water. This discovery is surprising and exciting because it means that the asteroid Bennu may have been part of a larger body that had liquid water and a habitable environment in the past. This body could have been a planet, a moon, or a large asteroid that was later broken up by collisions and impacts. Bennu may have preserved some of the material and history of this ancient ocean world, and may hold clues to how life emerged and evolved on it and elsewhere. This discovery that Bennu's sample may have originated from an ancient ocean world has significant implications for our understanding of the origins of life and the solar system. The sample represents the largest pristine reservoir of carbon-rich material on Earth and may contain organic molecules and water that are essential for life. It may help us answer some of the fundamental questions that we have about who we are and where we come from, such as, how did the asteroid Bennu form and evolve? Using the sample, we can reveal the age, origin, and evolution of the asteroid Bennu, and how it acquired water and organic molecules. It may also tell us about the history and dynamics of the solar system, and how planets, moons, and asteroids interacted with each other over time. The second question is, how did water and organic molecules originate and distribute in the solar system? The sample may shed light on the sources and processes that created and delivered water and organic molecules to different bodies in the solar system, such as comets, asteroids, and planets. It may also help us understand the role and importance of water and organic molecules for the formation and habitability of planets, especially Earth. Another question that this discovery may help us answer is, how did life emerge and evolve in the solar system? Using the sample, they can provide insights into the origin and diversity of life in the solar system, and whether life could have existed or still exists on other bodies, such as Mars, Europa, or Enceladus. 
It may also help us compare and contrast the different pathways and conditions that led to the emergence and evolution of life on different worlds, and what factors influence their survival and adaptation. These are some of the possible scenarios and hypotheses that the scientists are testing and exploring with the asteroid Bennu sample. However, there are also some challenges and limitations that the scientists face in their analysis. For one, the sample is very small and complex, and the instruments that the scientists use are not designed for this type of material. It also poses risks of contamination and degradation, which could affect the quality and accuracy of the results. Therefore, the scientists have to be very careful and rigorous in their methods and procedures, and to verify and validate their findings with other sources of evidence, such as other asteroid samples and meteorites. This discovery is not the end of the story, but rather the beginning. The scientists and the OSIRIS-REx mission have many more steps and goals to achieve with the sample and the mission, such as, first, to conduct more detailed and comprehensive studies of the sample, using more advanced and specialized instruments and techniques, such as isotopic analysis, organic analysis, and molecular analysis. These studies will allow the scientists to identify and characterize the specific organic molecules and water that the sample contains and to determine their origin, structure, and function. Second, to compare and contrast the sample with other asteroid samples and meteorites, such as the samples from the Japanese Hayabusa and Hayabusa 2 missions and the carbonaceous chondrite meteorites. These comparisons will help the scientists to understand the similarities and differences between different types of asteroids and their materials, and to establish the relationships and connections between them. Third, to share and distribute the sample with other researchers and institutions around the world, such as NASA, ESA, JAXA, and universities and museums. This will enable the scientific community and the public to access and study the sample and to contribute to the knowledge and discovery of the asteroid Bennu and its implications for the origins of life and the solar system. Fourth, to preserve and archive the sample for future generations, using state-of-the-art facilities and technologies, such as the Curation Laboratory at NASA's Johnson Space Center and the OSIRIS-REx sample return capsule. This will ensure the long-term protection and storage of the sample and to make it available for future studies and applications using new and improved instruments and techniques that may not exist yet. These are some of the potential benefits and applications of the asteroid Bennu sample for science and society. It may improve our understanding of the history and diversity of the solar system, and may help us assess the potential of asteroids as sources of resources and threats to Earth. It may also inspire curiosity and exploration of the cosmos, and may spark new questions and challenges for the future of humanity and life in the universe. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to learn more about the asteroid Bennu sample and other amazing discoveries and topics, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the mystery of Bennu.